The winners of this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry have been announced, and the award goes to three protein pioneers. The American scientist David Baker and his two UK-based colleagues, Demis Hassabis and John Jumper, for their research on proteins, the building blocks of life. Let's take a listen in to why the Nobel Prize Committee chose these particular winners. In a dream to learn to predict the three-dimensional structure of proteins from knowing their amino acid sequence, which is encoded in the DNA. For several decades, this was considered impossible. Four years ago, in 2020, Demis Hassabis and John Jumper managed to crack the code. With skillful use of artificial intelligence, they made it possible to predict the complex structure of essentially any known protein in nature. Another dream of scientists has been to build new proteins to learn how to use nature's multi-tool for our own purposes. This is the problem that David Baker solved. He developed computational tools that now enable scientists to design spectacular new proteins with entirely novel shapes and functions, opening endless possibilities for the greatest benefit to humankind. And for more on this, I'm joined now by Matthew Ward-Ages from DW Science. Welcome, Matthew. Good to have you here. Um, tell me, first of all, what do you make of uh, this year's uh, winners of the Nobel Prize for Chemistry? It's interesting, I think, because we've seen kind of a unified science prize this year. On Monday, we had the prize for physiology. And that was looking at the way that a discovery had explained the way that protein synthesis, the way that proteins are made, is regulated by a particular type of tiny RNA molecule. Yesterday, for physics, was recognising AI and neural networks. Today we have a chemistry prize which looks and recognises the way that AI and neural networks predicts the way that we can make specific proteins or designer proteins. So in a way, all three prizes this year have been shared in terms of the, the ballpark of science that they're coming from. And uh, in that way, I suppose it is a little bit of a surprise for a, a a competition or an award that you can't really predict. Tell us a little, a little bit more about the work that these scientists did that obviously has earned them this prize. So I think we need to start by understanding a protein. It's the building block of everything that we are. Lines of genetic code give the body or any organism's body instructions of how to make those proteins. What was originally done, and this is a two halves prize, the first half of the prize looks at the way that we can design a protein. Scientists, uh, in terms of the first half of this prize, developed technology that would create a designer protein that had never been seen in nature before and then work out the code for that. The other half of the prize is something that has recognised Google's AlphaFold program, which is a recent uh, development in science, which basically goes and predicts, based on code, the way that these proteins will fold into unique shapes. And on that basis, we can make proteins that will perform very specific functions in science and help us move forward as humanity towards addressing therapeutical outcomes, uh, environmental outcomes, predicting how viruses might behave, all sorts of things. But I was going to let me ask you more specifically, because what I, you know, how will this work, their work, make this world a better place? So give me more, more specific examples. Yeah, well, let's take the environment, for example, because they'll be talking a lot about the therapeutical uh, benefits as part of this award. But plastic pollution is a major problem in the world, as we know. We can break down plastic using enzymes, which are a type of protein. Now, if we can design a protein enzyme that specifically fits in, binds with plastic molecules and begins to degrade them into a, a form of biodecomposition, we would be making a very productive step forward in terms of addressing an environmental problem. That's just one aspect of how this science may be of benefit to humanity. That sounds like it could be world-changing. DW's Matthew Ward-Ages, thank you so much for that. Really interesting.